championship game four years ago this month. Brady was out the next year with a knee injury. They had a winning record but did not qualify. And in the last two years, the Ravens and the Jets beat them. It's been 1,455 days since they won a playoff game. And Tebow, we think, got hurt on that sack. Yeah, his arm hits. His left arm, his left elbow hits the ground. First. Really can't tell when you're watching. It's Ridley for a second straight. Carries. Nice move. Got the first and squirms down to the 34. Picks up 11. We got another shaking up Bronco here. It was David Bruton. Safety. Billy Broncos, Jim. Brian Dawkins out. I was just talking about these last two years in the playoffs, and I know the Patriot players have been sick of hearing about it all week, but believe me, it was something that was reminded of them a number of times by the Patriot coaching staff. Well, First, it was the Ravens that came in here, and the very first play of the game, Rice went 80 yards on them. Ravens beat him last year. The Jets come in and surprise him after a 45 to 3 drubbing at the hands of the Patriots and turn around and beat him in the playoffs. Well, Jim, the coaches reminded him, but did you turn on one TV set, and watch anything about NFL football where it was not brought up? So I'm sure the Patriots, they saw it, they heard it. I'm sure their wives asked him questions. Can we finally win a playoff game? And we, we don't even have to guess. We know Bill Belichick brought it up many times. Again tomorrow, Houston, Arian Foster, TJ, can he come in there and put up another performance? Uh, fifth round pick out of North Carolina who stepped up big time going against those Baltimore Ravens. And the Ravens already beat Houston once this year. They are the two seed. That's tomorrow on CBS. All starts with the NFL today. Presented by Southwest Airlines at noon as Bruton gets to his feet. That game, Houston, when they went in and played the Ravens, that was a rough and physical game. If I remember, it was pretty close in the fourth quarter. Two touchdowns late. Final in that game was 29 to 14. The first time the Ravens have been at home. You know, they always were finishing behind the Steelers in that hey, division. Hey, hey. Mike. They swept them this year to take that oh, AFC no. North. First down for New England. And Brady sends it over to Hernandez. He's got nine. How long do you think you see Tom Brady tonight? Oh, I think we'll see him at least to the fourth quarter, Jim. You know, that's just how Bill Belichick coaches. Is that we keep going, we keep playing. And then when the proper time comes, I would think it would be early in the fourth quarter that he might take Tom Brady out. And he's going to dive across for the first time. Of course, late in the season, he had a little issue with his non throwing shoulder and worked out extensively, including during the bye week with his trainer, Alex Guerrero. Obviously, he's not ailing at all here tonight. No, it's obvious. I think we saw that. We talked to him. He was in great spirits, but we did feel the edge up here in New England. Fires it over to Ridley. Looking to make a move and three Broncos. Come over, balls out. The rookie fumbles. Taya Broderick Bunkley is down. He got hit by, his, I believe, his own teammate. And it's a recovery for Denver. Oh, it was Bunkley. Bunkley that knocks it out. Yeah. That's what you do. Three guys around the football. You go for it. Bunkley hits it. And Ridley gives Bill Belichick something to talk about and lean on all week long. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And Bunkley's still down. First and ten Broncos from the 19. Ridley knows too. He'll take a week's worth of heat over that. Marcus Thomas was the one who recovered it.
So Bunkley, who knocked it loose, his helmet was in there though. Just kind of like what we saw earlier in the game with Quentin Carter, his uh, teammate at safety who, after a couple of early blows, has not returned. Well, he is moving around, which is a good sign to the Denver Broncos. Bunkley, he has really had a solid year. They're very happy with his play inside.